Let's continue learning some more things about AQL. And these suggestions came from our friend Mutaz from IBM Poland. Let's say that I want to do, I want to get the same information that I get from the Curator console when I do DF minus H. I want to have this information to monitor the health of, this, of my disk space in my system. Let's actually do that. So if we put this query, and this is a continuation to the health metrics that we uh, showed before, we are showing the different elements, which are the, the partitions of the drive here. And this is really about getting the value of the disk space as a double, so we get a lot of uh, decimals. Uh, and get this divided uh, 3 times by 1024 to get it on the gigabyte and then we put it in a column as gigabyte, uh, GBUs from events where metric is this space total group by element and order in descending order from the last two minutes let's actually search that and this is what we get as you can see, is the equivalent information. The, th the numbers does, do not have to be quite exact because there's some rounding that goes on the DEF minus H, I'm sure. But this is how you can actually monitor the health of your disk from uh, AQL. Mentioned several times that we have the capability of using AQL and that's the way to go when you are doing things programmatically via the API. Let's actually show you how you exercise this on the API and how you prepare it for your code. You're not going to be testing your AQL as you run your code. You want to have your search ready working before you actually call. So I'm going here to the API interface and you need to go on the aerial searches. And we're going to do the, f the, the searches by, you go here on the search and then you click post. And under post, you're going to put your query right here. Okay, that's the same query that we just used for the this space, right? Then what you need to do is that you need to click try it out to execute it and you get a 201. But notice that you get here a search ID. So programmatically, think of your program running this. So first it, 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 this gets run, you get this uh, search ID and you need to wait until the search is actually ready. So you click here on search and you put the search ID Notice that it asks you for the search ID that you just got from the previous step. And you click here. And you need to, your code needs to wait until the word completed appears. That means that your search programmatically, again, if you do this manually, then you, you don't have to do all this. But programmatically, your program should check that the actual query finished. And then for you to see the results, you scroll down here and you put the same search ID that you got before and you execute try it out and here you see the same results okay and again you can limit the number of headers uh, the number of items that you, that you want in our case we don't even have 49 so we're good there so by default the results are shown on your searches with that in this format, JSON format, right? You can actually go here and say that you prefer it on CSV or I like particularly I like tables when I'm looking, when I'm visually looking at that. So I can select here table and I can click try it out and I get the results in a table. This is closer to what you just saw. Again, very easy to execute AQL command with all the power that you have seen with the functions with the 
with the index searches, with the regular expression, with all that beautiful set of things programmatically via the APIs.